Hey what's up guys and welcome to our YouTube channel. This video will be a tutorial on Asana's team management. Asana has become one of the most popular project management tools out there for a good reason. It makes workflow so much smoother and organized, so if you're working within a team, using a system like Asana is an absolute must. And in today's video I'll walk you through the key features of Asana when working with a team, but first, what is Asana used for when working within a team? And at a high level, Asana serves as the centralized place to house all of your company-wide tasks and projects. It becomes a unified kind of to-do list for your entire organization, breaking down into individual to-do lists for each one of the team members. And beyond just a task list, Asana also enables seamless communication within your team. You don't even need to email each other internally at all as communication happens right within Asana on each task. And this really makes everything much quicker and keeps it organized in one place, avoiding scattered email threads or losing track of discussions. And to get started, we need to get to the basics of assigning tasks in Asana. So within any project, you can add a new task by typing it in and setting details like due date and assignee. To assign a task, simply click on the assignee dropdown and select the relevant team member. For example, say you need someone to edit an ad copy and then you can add a task for edit new ad copy and assign it to your marketing teammate, and you can even set a due date if necessary. So now instead of communicating tasks through emails or even meetings, there is a centralized place documenting all of the tasks and the owners. Not only is the task documented, but you can also provide full details by hovering over a task and clicking details. So you can give them more instructions to successfully complete the task rather than explaining in text, you can even record a Loom style video right within Asana by clicking on the video icon. This will let you do a screen recording walking through exactly what you want step by step and it's one of the best productivity kind of tips for using this kind of platform. You simply record your video, you click add video to attach it directly to the task for your team member and then this will help them understand so much faster. And the key is that anyone on the team can assign tasks to others, it's not just for managers and this creates a smooth collaborative kind of workflow. Asana makes team communication seamless by allowing conversations with each task. So let's say your team member completes the task that you gave them and asks for your feedback. Again, rather than writing emails back and forth, you can just go into the task itself and provide comments. This enables you to have a back and forth chat right within the task, keeping everything organized and avoiding the inbox clutter. And to bring someone's attention to your comment, you can just tag them using the at symbol like at and then your team member and this will notify them just like a mention. Once your team member completes their task, they can mark the task as complete and then you can go in, click the star icon and then send a kind of gift to say thank you for finishing or any kind of message that you want really. For more extended kind of conversations, you can use Slack for instant messaging. And if you want to brainstorm ideas during sessions, then you can hop on Zoom for video chat. But for discussions directly related to tasks, then Asana's comment threads are perfect. All of the details stay documented rather than getting lost in email chains or other tools. Asana also lets you set task dependencies. So certain tasks block others from starting. So for example, let's say we have two tasks, to write on a first draft and then to edit the first draft. So clearly the editing does not start until the first draft is actually written and finalized. So to set this up, you would want to open the edit first draft task, click add dependency and then select write first draft as the blocking task. So now your team member can't mark edit first draft as complete until you've finished the write first draft and it will show as blocked within her task list. Once you finish and mark your first draft as complete or done, then your team member will get notified that the dependency is cleared. Also task dependencies are a premium Asana feature but well worth the upgrade. Also within Asana you are able to easily attach files and links directly to tasks avoiding any hunting for the right documents. So you can attach a writing brief for your team members right now in Asana. And then to add the attachments, just click the paperclip icon in a task and select a file from your computer or Google Drive, Dropbox, whatever really. And for the links, you can simply copy and paste them into the task description field. So the main goal here is to optimize access to all the resources and information that your team needs to complete the task successfully without having to search through inboxes or any saved files. And if you've noticed, everything lives right inside the Asana task, reducing the potential for any holdups. If you needed any kind of information, follow-up files or comments, you can just simply go to the task specifically and communicate to your team members about it or even mention them. You can as well set up automations with rules. 
This is another premium feature, but if you find yourself in need of it, then definitely upgrade, it's completely worth it. And to add the rules, you can go to customize and rules. From here, you can create triggers like when a task is added to a section and then set actions like assign the task to a team member. So for example, you could set up a rule that anytime a task gets added to the video production section, then it automatically gets assigned to your video editor or your thumbnail maker, for example. And then the assignment happens instantly without me needing to manually select and assign it each time. You can get really creative with setting up rules to simplify repetitive actions and keep workflow smooth. Asana automation is amazing. So in summary, Asana is so much more than just a basic task list when you're working with a team. It centralizes the tasks, projects, and communication company-wide. So if you want to take your business to the next level, implementing a system like Asana is definitely crucial. You will notice increases in your productivity, organization, and teamwork. Let us know in the comments if you have any other questions. I hope that this video has given you a helpful kind of introduction to using Asana within a team. And if you found it to be helpful or enjoyable to watch, then let us know by giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content that we make.